Tennessee police pull a guy over for driving on the wrong side of the road. His car smells like pot. And like every 20-year-old, he, he can't just talk to the police. He has to call someone. You know, he's on the phone with his grandmother. He's driving her car. He's 42 years old, driving his grandmother's car, which reeks of dope. And this female cop is like, oh, shit. That's this grandma's is a, dope. He's a big dude. And so she calls for backup almost immediately because she smells trouble, and she smelled it correctly. And so this cop shows up. But here's what happens. This is horrible. A cop is shot dead. She is also shot in the in the leg. And oh, listen, I saw this. This female, too, she is like, you know, all these people are trying to help. She's like, help my partner, help my partner, who died, yeah, of, course. of course. But she, she was more worried about him than she was about herself. But this is the most fucked up thing. This asshole who immediately says, this is a racist. I'm not getting out of the car. Cause so they it's a black guy. They want to search the car. Yeah, he's a black guy. Yeah. Big black guy. She smells pot, and so she's like, I have probable cause to search the car because pot isn't legal in Tennessee, apparently. Right. Yeah. So anyway, here's how and this goes. You're not goes. allowed to drive around high anyways. No, and he's driving legal. on the wrong side of the fucking road. Yeah, So she, she's not sure if he's drunk or high or what, but she wants to get to the bottom of it, and she has probable cause. Now that we're out of the way there. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. That's all right. My name's Shelby. I work for the Lake County Sheriff's Office. Oh, she's cranking the music as she walks up. Of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't notice. I'm, okay. I'm, I just put my hair up. Putting your hair up. Yeah. Putting your hair okay. up. Yeah, that's you why you didn't notice you're on the wrong side. No, yeah. Okay. No. Uh, so, car smells like weed. Uh, Is that a smashed window? In no, those are trees in the background. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On severe She's road. 22, by the way. She's a rookie cop. Pretty yeah. sure I got a DUI, but I think it's weed. I don't think it's alcohol. Okie dokie. How far is your road are you? 4951. I'm right here past, I'm right here next to Destiny Lane. Destiny, uh, a little bit better. The guy on the phone's going to be dead in five minutes. Uh, right, uh, right. Sucks. Do you think this guy knows right now I'm killing one of these assholes? I'm killing a cop. I don't know. I don't know, you know. He, he, pause it for a second, Brandon. Um, he is a, let's see, he is a felon also in possession of a gun. Shocking. And I think, yeah, I know. Wait, that's, that's what I think. How did he get a gun? It's illegal. <laughs> I know, it's almost crazy? Like, it's almost like felons don't follow the law. It's almost like the guy in Minnesota that chopped the two cops and killed yeah. them. I was just talking about a second ago. Yeah. So I think he doesn't want them coming in the car because he doesn't want them finding the gun because yeah. then he'll be going back to prison possibly. Yes. So they, he is really determined that he is not getting out of that car for search. So he's going to cry. Guess what? Racism. Of course. This is the case all the time. Those cops might not know what his background is in that moment, but he knows what his background is. Exactly. And he knows if he's found with a gun as a felon, he's going to be in prison for 20 fucking years. But, and that's not going to happen. But shooting a cop uh, is pretty serious shit. So he, I he knows he's not getting away from these cops in this moment. He's better off in his mind, in his warped brain. I shoot this cop dead and I take off and I'm on the lam. Yeah, which That's is what he's which thinking. is what's going to happen. But here, but watching this was just fucking blew my mind because. Yeah. Get out of the fucking car. Come on. What? Yeah, Nobody will get out of the car. I mean, yeah. we watch cop cams all the time, just like the girl and the guy that were smoking dope that wouldn't get out of the car. And so yeah. she's like, you can't touch me. You can't touch me. And the guy just grabs her by the hoodie and yanks her out of the car. Yeah. And it turns out the other guy who was so absolutely adamant not to be cuffed, he had a gun in his ass. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. A little loaded gun in his in his pants yeah. in the back. Yeah. So. Like that's why he was so, and of course he's doing that. I can't breathe. This is an emergency. I need water. And it's like, no. Good. Now, in the last five years, those in society are the true victims and the heroes. By the way, you get you get some asshole felon with a gun in his back, uh, in, in in his pants. He's the victim. Yeah, which is exactly. why you just cry racism right. and and uh, you'll get all loads of support online. It's unbelievable. Yeah, this this is just fucking crazy. I, I just watched so many cop cams. You can see it happening over and over again. The part yeah. that really drives me crazy now is that no one, no adult, especially the Gen Z people, can be pulled over and just take care of their own business. They right. have to call their mommy or their daddy, yeah. or in this case, grandma. 40 yeah. fucking two-year-old, yeah. and he's talking to grandma George on the phone. George Floyd, same way. I want my mommy. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> a little different, but a little bit, but yeah. I'm, I'm up here, uh, past Alfred McCammon and Doc Norton, towards out of town, towards Burnett Station. Okay. You, if you pass, if you pass Alfred, come on past Alfred McCammon, you'll see my lights. 
Okay, I'm on my way, G. All right, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, and that's the cop. Yeah, guy yelled. Yeah, he's going to be killed. Jesus. 335. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Um, I am going to have you step out and hang out with me. Um, hang out with me? Yeah, right. So, yeah. <laughs> I smell weed in the car. Have you ever smoked weed in this car? Anybody. I don't smoke nothing. Okay, you don't smoke sure. nothing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Has anybody Never. ever smoked in the car? Nobody. This is Nobody. Nobody. Okay, that's, that's I got you. Bogus, okay, yeah. well, I smell it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you step out and hang out with me. Okay. Does she not have a partner? Not yet. Not yet. That's, that's why she called. No, he's on the way to back her up. Wow, this must be a small town or something in Tennessee. It's kind of in the boonies. Yeah. Don't do you like what? That's his grandmother on the phone. Weed, Are you serious? You know I don't smoke weed. No, nobody I know smoke weed. Okay, I didn't nobody I know smokes weed. weed. <laughs> and food. We literally just went to okay. okay. It's got to be racist. Exactly. It's being the leather. Okay. It's the leather. <laughs> like this, this just, it's me, man. My own black, and they going they just being messy. It ain't got nothing like, it ain't got nothing to do with that, brother. I guarantee you run a dog right here. I don't know if the dog get on this car. Okay. So I'm going to sit right here. Our dogs, dogs, dog Our dogs don't hit, uh, hit on weed. You know, the whole thing about racism is judging someone yeah. by the color of their skin. Right. Well, it's not judging someone when you just immediately declare racism. I realize it's a white person. Of course person, it is. And we're predominantly a white country, but yeah. it's it's doing it's, the same fucking thing in reverse. Yeah. That's not okay. No, it's the hypocrisy of it all. And but, they don't seem to recognize that. Like, oh, just making no, it never matters. statements about everybody. Oh, I was pulled over. Regard, never mind that I was on the wrong side of the road and my car reeks of weed. Um, I was pulled over only, and now I'm getting hassled only because of the color of my skin. Right. I mean, it's absurd on its You face. wouldn't do this to this person. Right. You wouldn't do this to that person. Well, yeah, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Uh, as it turns out, him calling uh, her a racist is not going to be the worst thing he does, unfortunately. Right. His grandmother's fucking agreeing with him, Mama. Well, I'm not. I'm. I'm. Re I'm refusing to. Say. No, there's. There's no. There's no refusing. So when I'm I refusing. smell. So when I smell. When I smell the, the odor of marijuana, I have probable cause to search the vehicle. I need you to get a dog, so ma'am. I'm refusing to search. I need a dog. There's no refusing. There's no, okay. So. So here's what's gonna happen if you don't step out of the car. We're gonna have to drag you out of the car, and then you're gonna go to jail. He walks up now. So you can either. Step yeah, the new out of the cop car, is there. Or I can yeah. Pull you out of the car. You step out the car. No, sir. You can you can step out the car. I'm pulling you out He's of the car. He's not having it. She asked you. She I, I, she asked you to get out of the car. Get out of the car, brother. Y'all said it smells like weed. I need you to get a dog, please. No, we don't. We don't I'm have to have a dog. Don't do it smells like weed, brother. No get out of the car. marijuana in this okay. car. I'm gonna tell you one more time, Kenny. Get out of the car. I, I can't, ma'am. You can't. I'm recording this. Okay, I'm you can record you right it. Now. That's fine. I'm recording too. I've recorded this whole interaction. Go ahead and get but out. I'm not doing nothing wrong. You were on the wrong side of the road, Kenny. I was not on the wrong side. You of the were driving road. on the wrong side of the road, brother. Get out of the car. Side of the road. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I'm not. No, don't no, 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 my car. No, you can't do this. Oh, get out the car. You can't do this, man. You can't do this. Get your hands off me, man. Yeah, they absolutely can do this. It's amazing how many people Please think they can't do this. Right, right. It's amazing. Yeah. Get out of the car. I'm asking They've been taught by shitty lawyers on YouTube. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Tasers are out. Now. Yeah. Please, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Get out of the car. Please, can I answer my no, phone? No, Fucking no, on the phone. Yeah. I gotta take this call from Nana. Why are y'all doing this to me, man? Why are you doing this to me? Get out of the car, man. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Get out of the car, Kenny. Can, does he have a this gun in his hand at this point? No, but it's, it's right so next to him. Close. Yeah. Get out of the car, Kenny. Go ahead, get him. Out of the go. car. Taste. Get out of the car. What are you looking for? Taser the Yeah, you know, like that taser too much. Get out of the car! 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 Get Oh, fires right out the window. <laughs> Jesus. Now we're just seeing her video. Yeah. Now he's driving away, and there's the dead officer. Wow. And she takes a couple shots at the car. 
Jesus. And he's gone. So I see us. He, that's that's his only chance. Shoot a cop. He's going to prison for that. She's gun. hit too. She you shot know, in the leg. Honestly, the, maybe it would have been plead down. He wouldn't go to prison for long. He, a gun in the car. If you're a felon with a gun. I think that's it's not good. It's not good at all. But you really think you're going to get away with shooting two cops? No. And here's a good okay. Samaritan, by the way, who comes Just up and again. puts a tourniquet on her leg. Do this as hard as you can, okay? Yeah, you don't Don't see those very often. Put it in the thing. There. Most people would rather film it nowadays than be a good yeah. Samaritan. Well, oh my God. Hey, 345. Do you need I've got a tourniquet applied. Have you got I'm trying to get to 344. So the suspect's gone. Anyway. And, uh, he went and down. she's actually more worried about her partner than that. Yeah. Anyway, this guy, his name is uh, Kenneth DeHart Jr. Aren't you proud of him, Kenneth yeah. DeHart Sr.? <laughs> You're so proud of your junior son. Uh, he was arrested after a five-day manhunt. Yeah. He's been charged with first-degree murder, attempted murder, felon in possession with a gun, which is what would have happened. And his brother Marcus was arrested for being an accessory after the fact. Marcus was helping him yeah. stand the lamb. I, I don't know why the fuck people do that. Yeah. It's so stupid. I know it's your brother, though. I, that's that's yeah. a tough spot for Marcus, you know. Except he <laughs> fucking killed a cop. Yeah, I know. I know. I know if my brother did some shit and he came to me, I don't know that I wouldn't put him in my basement. If he killed a cop? I mean, would you try to say, look, G, you're yeah. going down, man. <laughs> Actually, G, yeah, I probably would, too. You're going down, G, and now you're going to take me down a little bit, too. It's kind of bullshit. You know, I hope this never happens. Yeah, I'm sure. It's, me it's too. been a close call with G many times, I'm sure. <laughs> As we talked about your sister's OnlyFans, I mean, yeah, a lot of exactly, crazy stuff of goes on in families. <laughs> Not unusual. Yeah.